welcome to another video. Uh, this is an attempt to show you the difference between the standard stereo in a T5 uh, against one that's been amplified and then if all goes well I'll do a third comparison which is adding the subwoofer as well. So it's, it's going to be a little bit uh, hit and miss. Um, what we have, I've got a sound meter there, as you can see it's going up and down with uh, me speaking. Currently I've got the stereo and it is just using the amplifier within the stereo going to the speakers in the door. So I've just downloaded some free music so don't judge me on the choice of music, I just wanted something that was royalty free. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'll turn this up until it's perhaps the volume's in line with the end of the pause button there and we can then look to see how loud it is on the decibel meter and I don't know whether the microphone will pick up the difference in quality but uh, hopefully it will We'll see if we can take it any further, see if we can get it to distort a little bit because it will eventually get to its limit. But this isn't very dynamic music, so it might struggle. Really, so really where I had it is about the limit it will go to. Beyond that it does start to distort. So next thing I'm going to put the amplifier, why the amplifier in that's down by my feet at the moment, and I'll try the same piece of music. So without a subwoofer installed you have it to the full range. Um, if you move it to the side it, it takes some of the low frequencies away from the door speakers. You can adjust the gain on here this is for the front, that's for the rear. There's no rear speakers actually installed on those speaker wiring. So it's just this one we're talking about here. But they've got the volume at a certain level, as you can see. You can actually increase the volume and decrease the volume to the amount of gain you get. So if I just turn it up to full, So what it seems to do, it seems to go to a high volume now, where it's still controlled, the sound is a lot more full, uh, there's certainly a lot more thump, if that's the right word, from the um, from the bass speakers. Uh, the harshness has gone off the treble as well, um, so overall it's a decent improvement. Uh, as I said in other videos, this is never going to be a route to give you really top, top notch quality, it's a case of enhancing and improving. Um, a stock stereo so that you, uh, you you just have a better sound from something that looks like it should be fitted in the first place rather than an aftermarket unit. So the next thing I need to wire the subwoofer in and we'll do another sound test and see if we can hear the difference on that. Right so I've taken off the panel that goes in on the front of the bed and I slid in the subwoofer down there and as you notice the cables go in through that aperture and it goes behind all of these cabinets here and comes out down here. That's for setting the uh, subwoofer amplifier. You've got three controls. You've got the gain which works very similar to the standard uh, amplifier where you can just turn the power up and down relative to the power that's going in from the head unit or the amplifier just uh, as a fine adjustment 
you got an additional bass boost and you got the low pass filter as well now I've set the low pass filter to as high as possible because the main amplifier limits the frequencies that comes to this amplifier I think to less than 80 hertz so this will only be receiving information that's less than 80 hertz anyway so I need to play around with the gain and the bass boost just to get the sweet spot but where I'm going to mount this underneath the seat here there's a great place down there I'm just going to use some double sided sticky tape I think to uh, hold that in place and then what I need to do the cable that runs across here I need to just put that underneath this matting and also conceal this up behind the centre console here but there's a nice space behind to do that so the hardest part is probably going to be getting these, these through underneath the carpet on the back of the amplifier I switched that over so it's got the filter on it so it's not going to be putting all of the low frequencies to the door speakers now it will do it to the, to the subwoofer what you do get with the subwoofer you get a volume control so you can set it in a similar way to the amplifier you, you can uh, increase and decrease uh, on the amplifier itself how much gain you have and then you can fine tune it with this while you're driving so let's get the same piece of music on and see what it sounds like so a little bit uh, about decibels and, and what the test I've done actually means. So for every three decibels increase, it doubles the sound intensity. But the way that the human ear hears it, it has to go up 10 decibels before the sound is heard at double the volume. So that perhaps um, explains why I have got a very high increase in volume from around about I think 75 to 85 decibels uh, so the human ear is going to hear twice the volume that it would do before but uh, I can also feel the music now whereas I couldn't feel the music before so perhaps that uh, um, backs up the sound intensity increase uh, which is much higher than um, what your ear perceives to, uh, to hear so back to the same piece of music subwoofers on Turn it up and listen. Turn the sub down a little bit. As you can see, I don't know if it's come across on the video or not. I think with the quality of microphone, etc., that I have, it probably hasn't. But wow, that I can't explain the difference between the two. Uh, one is a little bit thin and weedy, and it loses control. At not particularly high volume, doesn't sound great. Then you add the amplifier in, and it really gives it a lot more body and a lot more control up to definitely a higher listening volume and then you add the subwoofer with the subwoofer amplifier and it just takes a lot of the work away from the other speakers and just produces a really nice not necessarily really deep bass sound but it's it's certainly a much more weighty sound you can actually feel it inside you as well and uh, this is just a mod modest budget uh, the the, the door speakers I think I paid about £150 for. Uh, the subwoofer, again another 100 probably another 30 or 40 for the box that I made. And um, I think the one amplifier was 120 the other one's about 80 so it's £200 worth of amplifiers. So it's not a fortune and not really that hard to, to fit either, so I'm really happy with it. So if you like this video, uh, please... Um subscribe to the channel 
Um, also like, uh, share and uh, comment. Uh, thank you for watching.